Good afternoon, everybody. Now, we start with Just Stop Oil's latest stunt. The activists who caused havoc at last night's Snooker World Championships in a full-time student who just two weeks ago told GB News that he opposes having children on, quote, moral grounds. Eddie Whittingham invaded the playing area at Sheffield's Crucible Theatre and covered one of the snooker tables in orange paint powder. Whittingham was wearing a T-shirt with the slogan, Just Stop Oil, as he interrupted the match between Robert Milkins and Joe Perry. I last spoke to Eddie Whittingham on March the 31st, and I think we can play a little clip of what he had to say. I am just keen to know, what, what do you want to do after, after university? What's your, what's your big ambition? What, what kind of line of work are you going to go into? Uh, my dream is to be a writer, but any vocation, any dream is looking precarious uh, if we don't sort out the climate crisis. So are you genuinely so fearful that the world is going to end within your lifetime that you don't care about, particularly about future employment prospects or anything like that? You are just so, so convinced that you're going to see the end of the world. Well, I already have decided that I won't be having children because I can't guarantee that there will be a habitable planet for them to grow up into. OK, is that a difficult decision for you? I mean, that's, that's quite a bold decision to make, isn't it? Well, I think it's the moral choice, given the circumstances that we're facing. So, morally, you think it would be wrong to bring more children into this world? If we don't sort out the climate crisis. OK, so there we go. That was Eddie, and he, last night, was at the Crucible. Joining me now is Just Stop Oil activist Alex de Koning. Alex, thank you very much. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thanks for having a young climate scientist like myself on to talk about the climate crisis. That's all right, absolutely. So, look, firstly, why the crucible? Um, well, as I say, I want to talk about the, the climate crisis. Like, I, I know you always want to talk on the specifics of protests and completely ignore the bigger problems at stake here. The fact that last year it was so hot that crops literally went on fire and how it's predicted in just 10 years' time, the summer we had last summer at 40 degrees, it's going to become an average summer. These are the things that I want to talk about. I want to talk about how new oil and gas is what's causing this and how it's insane that we're still pushing through a new coal mine, the first one in 30 years, when renewables are nine times cheaper, our energy bills could be lower, and we could be creating so many more jobs um, by switching to renewable energies. Please tell me why you think we shouldn't. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Up. Well, I don't necessarily think you shouldn't at all, and I hope that you do feel heard. You have just been able to come on national television and outline exactly what you desire and what you think everyone should agree with. The, the main reason why and I asked I about really the crew... I being able to do that, uh, Patrick, but okay. um, sadly, if it wasn't for actions like right. this... The climate science I get, be I get the purpose. I, 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 get the, I get that. Having demonstrations, etc., mm. leads public discourse, and we have chats like this. And I understand that, OK? And I am all for mm. protest, by the way. I do have a question about the Crucible specifically, and it is around this. I'm keen to get your views on it, if that's all right, which is snooker is traditionally a, a working-class man and woman's sport, really. And I've spoken to Eddie before on the show, and he's told me that he's got a student low now, he doesn't particularly see a future of paying that back, for example. Phoebe Plummer, for example, as well, has been on, and she reportedly has, you know, received a, uh, a remarkably good education at a fee-paying school and all of this. And I just wonder whether or not the optics have stood out for you of potentially, potentially, some would say, posh, spoilt brats interrupting working-class people's enjoyment. Your views on that, Alex? But you would really try to make out like there's some sort of class warfare between the middle class and the working class, and that's absolutely not true. But we do have a class warfare between the upper classes and everybody else. Mm. Our government are being paid £3.5 million by climate deniers, by fossil fuel lobbyists, in order to, put, to push these policies through. That's, that's been reported widely by The Guardian and other sources. And Should. still, you're asking us about you're well, asking just, students. Uh, but, but that, no, but that, that, but that ties in, really, Alex. That, that, really, that really ties in with what I'm trying to say, because should you not maybe be doing more to target those people directly as opposed to if it's stopping people from getting to work or, indeed, the crucible? Again, it's more traditionally the working-class people who appear to be suffering as opposed to maybe you going directly to those top elites. So are you more scared of those people, do you think? 
I'm so glad that you brought that up because um, from April 21st, Extinction Rebellion are going to be occupying Westminster, the places outside Parliament. So if anybody is angry about what the government is doing, they should come join us. Um, and they should come join Just Stop Oil from April 24th as we march the streets of London. You see, we have been to oil and gas companies. We have been outside Parliament. Every single day in October, we are waiting outside have, Parliament. Have you been protesting. to Beijing? And yet, that not get anywhere near as much media attention. No, Sorry, but fair enough. I, I, I reckon you'd get a, a boatload of media attention if you rocked up in Beijing. Have you thought about doing that? Um, well, sadly, that, that's far away. I don't live there. Um, we can only put our own house in order first. Like, we're supposed to be climate leaders, and yet we're pushing through a new coal mine. It's I do understand leaders. that, We've but... We have such a high wait. rate of unemployment right now. Why aren't we trying to push for a green job? Solar can panel farms can be built in six weeks. OK. Are, are both of those things not true at the same time, which is that we are both climate leaders and we are also pushing forward a, a new coal mine so that we are reducing CO2 levels at a faster rate than pretty much anyone in the G20? We are doing these things and we are introducing net zero rules and regs for people. But at the same time, we are also doing things like the coal mine. So two things can be true at, at the same time, Alex, can't they? Not in this case. Patrick, I hate right. the argument of, oh, let's put all the blame on China. Like, just because Not all of um, it, China, but, I mean, it's, it it'd, it'd be stupid. It, it, more oil and gas doesn't mean that we should. I, I, and China I do say that marital rape is okay. Does that mean we should have marital rape here in the UK? If China jumped off a bridge, would we jump saying. off a bridge yeah. too? Yeah, no, I, I understand that clearly your first and foremost responsibility would want to be the country that, that you're living in. And, and I get all of that. But at the same time, a lot of people would say, well, even if we did, even if we did as a country exactly what you want us to do, exactly what you wanted us to do, it wouldn't really make any difference unless China, India and some other developing nations as well did exactly the same thing. And That's you're not really trying to do anything to stop them, are you? Patrick, let me tell you what difference it would make. Uh, it means we would have subsidised public transport here in the UK so people could transport for cheaper. It means we'd have renewable energies so the air we breathe would be cleaner. It means that our energy bills would be lower. People's houses would be warmer because they have insulation. You know, you make us out as if we're some cult or something, but ultimately, all of our requests are really reasonable. People want cleaner air. People want lower I energy bills. I, I, do, I do think, with absolute respect, I do think that one of the reasons why some people might be of the view that there is a, an element of the cult about it, is that, unfortunately, sometimes... Well, no, you shake your head, but, but so there have been some pretty fruity views put out about, like, well, if we don't act now, then there's going to be this total breakdown in law and order and we're all going to die and... Uh, no, but... And, and, and that there's even been things about people are going to come round to your house and rape your mothers and all of this, and that is kind of cult leader stuff, right? It is kind of cult leader stuff. Can I just ask you, Alex, if, that, if, that's, if that's all right? Just ask you... Can, no, can I ask you about, about one thing that Eddie said to me? Eddie said to me that he was so fearful of the future that he doesn't really see much point about getting a, a job or having kids. Can I ask, where are you on that? Well, I just want to bring the attention to if a young person is really so fearful about the future that they don't want to have kids, why is the question, like, you know, about that as opposed to, oh, my God, the future is terrible for young people right now, why don't we try and improve it? But we've the spoken about that. Is, the International Panel for Climate Change, mm. um, has, which is signed off by 11,000 scientists, 195 okay. countries, including the UK, so you know the data is accurate, is saying we have a brief and rapidly closing window to secure a livable future for yeah. all. And you've said, and you said that. And, you, and you've, you've said that, mm. uh, absolutely. I, I am just keen, very, very lastly, Alex, if that's all right, you know, do, do you think that we should be bringing more children into this world as it is, or is that morally unconscionable? I really hope that we can solve the climate crisis so I don't have to make that decision. Right now, I don't know. The future okay. genuinely looks that bad. I don't know about you, but I can't okay. eat fire. Our crops are going on fire. Okay. What All are right. we going to do about it? We have to switch to renewable energies. We have right. to make more change. People have to come and join us and, and march the streets. From April 21st of Extinction Rebellion, from April 24th of Just Stop Oil, please come and join us. All right, look, Alex, thank you very, very much. And I really do enjoy... It's one thing I will always say about Just Stop Oil. They always put someone forward to talk to us, which, frankly, is more than can be said for uh, a few groups out there. So thank you very much. Alex de Koning there, who is of Just Stop Oil. Right, now, off the back of that, I was talking earlier about this chap called Eddie, who was at the cruise.